Hello and welcome Aries. This is your tarot card reading with Solstice Psychic Readings. My name is Shay. Uh, this will be a four position spread and I'll be using two decks to give you the reading, okay? Um, this is going to take you through the next six months. So let's get your energy down and there it is. Body, mind, okay, then what's your heart for you Aries? And then finally, we have spirit. Okay. Aries, for the next six months. And body. Okay. Mind. Heart. Okay. And then spirit. All right. We'll pull some clarifiers by the end, okay? So in the position of the body, we have a five of wands, a uh, very combative, violent card, uh, of course, being the god of war, Aries, that's your position. Um, are you at your highest and peak self? Something to consider. Um, just rolling right through the haters, okay? Followed by inspiration. Uh, and given the value or lack of color in the inspiration card, I would say even even dare to say that you are your own inspiration or you're looking towards darker energies. Maybe you have a specific deity or role model that you look for that is less than favorable in the eyes of others. But for you right now, that is the exact energy you need because they are on that boss energy that you are needing right now to make it through the situation. This is in the physical realm, okay? In the position of the mind, we have two of cups. This is a card of lovers, unification, reuniting, and of course, uniting both halves of the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. This is a wonderful card, um, and I think that you are at peace with yourself, provided the situation. Legacy, persistence. Um, of course, you can't have a legacy without lovers because to love is to procreate, all right? So you are creating something in long terms of longevity for your mental wellness, okay? This is a loved one that you are reuniting with. Congratulations, I'm definitely happy for you. If you are newly single and you're finding yourself again, you will also be successful. And better prepared for the next relationship, if at all that's what you want. Heart, four of pentacles, uh, perfectly balanced, well-placed. You're guarding what's there, what you've established. You're not looking to make any gains significantly just to protect what's there and create a solid unification of you know the physical realm what you're what you're mentally capable of doing what feels right the money looks good you're sitting pretty for the rest of the year if this is not where you are at this is where you need to be so find a way to make the changes appropriately okay aries uh space you are carving out a space of safety okay um i choose these decks for a reason because this fairy deck and this dragon deck speak to each other they both have dragons and it's very mystical and ethereal uh, in terms of space, you are possibly thinking about moving and relocating. It may not be right now. Planning and timing is everything for you, Aries. That's very important. It's important for everyone right now. Look at the situation. You don't have to have me tell you. Just look on the news. All right. And then in the position of spirit resources, uh, it looks like you're trying to recruit a new spiritual development, a new spiritual practice. Uh, whatever you've practiced before in the past that has served its purpose is possibly time to evolve and to grow. Definitely right. Uh, the chariot is a card of significant spiritual takeoff, like leaving the physical and focusing on the spiritual or leaving the spiritual and focus on bringing those lessons to the physical realm. That's what the chariot is saying. So this speaks to itself perfectly. You're going into a fast forwarded acceleration between June and December of 2022 Aries. That is very important for you to recognize and to think and believe in yourself because no one else is going to believe in you if you don't. I think that you have a lot of doubters around you at this time. It's probably time to call the herd. We're going to go in and clarify as well. So before I do, let me pull inspiration, legacy, space, and resources. Okay, these are your cards from the Dragon Oracle deck. I believe this is the Star Dragon Oracle. Um, yeah, that's right. It is Star Dragons. Five of Wands, competition, knocking them down, lovers, 
with the two of wands, four of pentacles, and then we have the chariot. Okay, so this is the, the reading in summary. Let's go ahead and pull two clarifiers, one from each deck. Can I get a final card for Aries from this deck? Just one card, spirit. Freedom, breaking the change, chains, absolutely. You're going to start a new chapter for yourself, especially spiritually. I think the most significant is the spiritual message because the rest tends to fall in place. Uh, Aries, you're in your own headspace. You're doing the methodical thing. You're in the methodical phase of your uh, sign at this point. And um, you will be free. You are free. It's just a matter of carving out the space, the physical space, and setting things up in such a way that you are able to liberate yourself. Just one clarification card from this deck. Can I please get King of Swords? Um, this is definitely a card of being alone, solo, having won the battle from the Five of Swords. You've now transitioned to the King of Swords by the end of the reading. Okay? King of Swords is thinking. He's planning. Planning the next move. Think. Don't just say yes to everything. Think. I say that a lot. But common sense is as common sense does. So when you're planning your next move, think about who you're telling. Probably no one. Think about what you need in place. Probably a lot of things. Think about if you need a part-time job, if you need to sign some paperwork, if you need to take a class or something real quick. Maybe you need to take something at a community college or find a tutor. Maybe go on Groupon and take one of those courses. Anything to liberate yourself. Um, Aries, I think that this was a fully well-rounded reading. Like I said, this takes you from the middle to the end of the year. This was very general, but of course I do have monthly readings as well as my own website, TikTok, Instagram. Um, I do have the monthlies as well as um, I want you to be on the lookout for what's coming in the new year, 2023. I think that'll be very significant and very important for you. Important for everyone, all of us. All right, Aries, I will see you on the next one. Again, my name is Shay.